So here's a quick overview of some of the designs that I saw. Okay, this is actually ridiculous the way I'm not using my brain right now. I forgot to share this. Sean made another jean bag. And I've been punch needling up here because it's sunny. Don't come in with long ears. Unfortunately, I only have it. I guess market prep has officially started. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Off Season Chronicles where I document running my business in my life outside of market season. And market season is approaching very quickly. We have our first market in April and it's already mid-March. So stay tuned for longer market vlogs. I'm very excited to get back into it. But today is March 12th. It's 11.13 right now and I'm getting a late start on the work day because I went and got my nails done this morning. So these are my new nails. I'm all ready for spring, for Easter. They look so good. I love this lavender lilac color. And then I also got them with chrome, which I might not continue to do because I didn't realize there were 15 more dollars to get the chrome on there. So, so yeah, it's 11.15 right now. I don't have anything too crazy planned today. But I will say I want to get some orders packed and the labels made, but our Wi-Fi is out. So I can't make any shipping labels right now, but I still can pack some orders. So I'm going to hopefully, I think I should be able to access my orders on my phone. I might just like make a couple kits. And then I also have a candle I need to finish. I just need to trim the wick and put the label on the bottom, which I can do literally right now. After I pack a couple of orders... I think I'm just going to work on punch needle for like upcoming markets and yeah I was kind of hoping I would have more inventory for markets made at this point but that's okay we focused on keychains a lot over this break and that was wonderful so I'm okay with that and I don't have like nothing made I just I'm kind of low like compared to what I wanted to have made but that's okay we're gonna work on it this week I also have my second workshop coming up uh end of March so I want to start prepping for that soon I don't know if that'll be in this vlog but honestly probably because I'm getting a little anxious about the workshop um given that the first one did not go how I planned so I want to be a little more prepared for this one but yeah, enough rambling. Let's just pack up some orders and then work on punch needle. Also really quick, I wanted to say thank you to anyone who commented on my last video about my wedding dress. I appreciate the love and I'm just very excited for wedding planning and I'm hoping to be able to incorporate more wedding behind the scenes than I have been because like I haven't been able to film everything that I want to. So I'm hoping that I can film more as we start to do more like book vendors and things of that nature and just like fill you in. I guess I've done an okay job doing that. I've like updated you, but yeah, we haven't booked a venue yet. So there hasn't been any new updates other than the wedding dress, but yeah, thank you. If you commented something sweet about the dress, I appreciate it. And let's get into this vlog. Okay. I'm looking over here to see if I have a sticker for this candle so that I don't have to make one because I keep some stickers. Oh my gosh. Like the random punch needles. I don't know why I have so many over there. Um, this is night out and I have a feeling I don't have it. Dang. That's a popular one. I think I used the last one last time. Okay. I'm going to make one and then finish up that candle. Okay. Well, I guess I didn't realize how much I use the internet for and Cricut is not opening. So I can't make this sticker, which I feel is weird because I don't, I just don't think I need the internet to use Cricut. I just connect it to my computer. So I guess I have to wait to pack the candle, which really stinks because I don't know how long this internet's going to be out for and the candle has to go out today. And I just hope that the internet comes back soon. But for now, I'll pack up a couple of kits. Okay, I was being a little stupid and I forgot that hotspot was a thing. So I'm using my phone's hotspot now and Cricut is loaded so we can make the sticker all as well. Honestly, I probably can, yeah, I think I can just use my computer now that I'm on a hotspot. I'm literally so dumb. Okay. Okay. So the Wi-Fi thing doesn't matter at all, um, which is great. So let's pack some orders, print some labels, and act like those last clips didn't happen. Aren't you loving the real-time updates? Um, so I still can't print the sticker because my printer is connected through Wi-Fi. There might be a cable though that I can grab if I can figure out what cable I need to connect my printer to my laptop directly. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay, it's like a minute later, but I've decided 
I don't know how to connect it to my computer. I don't think I have the right cable slash don't know exactly what I need right now, but maybe I'll look at that again later. Um, but I'm thinking it's not a big deal if I ship this candle without a sticker. So I'm going to give it a couple hours. If the Wi-Fi doesn't get fixed in a few hours, then I'll just pack the candle without a sticker. By the way, if you're like, what is a sticker? It's a sticker on the bottom that says the scent name and then like burning instructions. Yeah, and it is a gift. So I prefer that there's a sticker on it. Um, but if not, no big deal, and I'll just see you in a couple hours. Um, so I'm going to stop doing this and just pack up some kits. That was like a waste of the last three minutes of this video, but <laughs> there's the update. Um, yeah, let's pack some kits. Okay, this is actually ridiculous the way I'm not using my brain right now. I can't fully pack the punch needle kits because I need to print out the instructions and I need to print out the stickers that go on the outside of the boxes. So this is very unfortunate. I might have to figure out this cable situation. There is one other thing I can do in the meantime, which is pack up some Etsy orders. The kits that I'm packing, the beginner punch needle kits, are on Shopify, but I do have some orders on Etsy as well, three of which or four of which are for punch needles. So I'm going to pack up the punch needles. I might also be able to pack up a refill kit for a heart coaster. So I'm going to pack those up and then figure out this Wi-Fi situation. Maybe by the time I'm done packing these orders, the Wi-Fi will be fixed. <laughs> She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides under. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to be yeah. And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever She lives a double life, puts on a show What's under this subtle smile, we'll never know She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her hey, Let me paint a picture I see they don't understand Feeling like Picasso She brushing against my hands Okay, it is, do I want to look? Okay, 12.15 right now. This day is obviously flying by since I got such a late start. But I've packed the punch needle kits up to where I can without printing the instructions. Um, and then I also packed up the punch needle orders and the refill kit. And while I was packing up the refill kit, I had the thought that I should talk a little bit about the kits again because I tend not to talk about products as time goes on, even though there might be new people watching. So honestly, I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of everything I sell in case you are new here. Let me also change the angle because this bright light is kind of distracting. <laughs> so if you are new here, welcome. Um, my typical content is what you see here, like behind the scenes running business and just what I'm doing on the daily basis. But I also have some informative videos on my channel as well, including how to punch needle videos, market videos, market essentials, how to find good pop-ups. Uh, and when pop-up season picks back up, I will be doing market vlogs. So yeah, that's a little bit about the content. But then with what I sell, I sell a lot of punch needle work. 
So I sell punch needle coasters. So these are like normal size coasters. I have a whole bunch of designs on my Etsy and on my website, which is all linked below. And then I also sell punch needle pop sockets or phone grips. They're listed as phone grips. And these are also on my Etsy and on my website. So yeah, I have a whole bunch of designs that you can choose from and you can customize the colors. You can customize the colors on most of the coasters that I sell as well. And then I also sell car coasters that are punch needled. So let me quickly show you those. So here's a quick overview of some of the designs that I sell. I have more designs on my website as well that you can look at. And again, most of these are color customizable for no additional charge. Then like you saw at the beginning of this video, we sell candles and you can choose what can you want them in. We have a lot of different cans to choose from. We have beer cans, seltzer cans, and soda cans, and we might have sparkling water as well. I think we do. I think we have LaCroix. We might have Spindrift listed. And then we sell punch needle frames so that if you're new to punch needle or you've been struggling for a while, uh, this can help a ton. It really helps keep the fabric tight and taut and it doesn't loosen as you punch needle like it does with a lot of frames from craft stores. So we sell them in two sizes. This is the large, this is 15 by 15. And we also sell the cover to go with it. It's just an additional charge. This is completely handmade by my fiance, Sean. He makes the frames and he makes the covers. He is a superhero, I swear. He also works a nine to five as an engineer. We love Sean over here. And then we sell the small ones as well. This is 10 by 10. You can fit about nine car coasters on this and 16 on the big one. And again, we sell the frame covers as well to go with it. We also sell other DIY punch needle things. So we sell the punch needle itself, the Mina Karin punch needle, which is the punch needle I use. And then you just saw me pack some of those up. We also sell the beginner kits. So the design you get with the beginner kit is the cloud design. So you get a punch needle in the kit. You also get the hoop with the fabric stretched and the cloud coaster design trace. Let me show you. This is what you make with the beginner punch needle kit. It is a cloud coaster. You also get the felt in the kit, which is the backing of the coaster. You get the yarn, obviously, and you also have the option to buy glue sticks for an additional 50 cents um, or to opt out of that if you have your own hot glue sticks, but you do need them to finish the project. So that's a beginner kit. That's $30. We also sell refill kits, which is what I packed up. The heart one is what I packed up. We currently have a heart design, which I don't have any to show you, but you can see it on my website. We sell a peach design and also a cow design. So these are the refill kits. So if you already purchased the beginner kits, you can purchase the refill kits and you will have everything that you need to make this project. So the refill kits come with the fabric. It also comes with a stencil to trace the design yourself once you stretch it onto the embroidery hoop. It also comes with felt for the backing and then the yarn. So the additional tools you need for the refill kits are the punch needle, the hoop, and like a glue gun, scissors. I think that's it. I think that's all you need. So you can definitely purchase a refill kit if you already have the like essential tools. But if you don't, then I would suggest getting the beginner kit and then you'll have everything you need once you get the refill kit. Hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. I also sell tote bags. I sell tote bags with heat transfer designs on them. I also punch needle tote bags, but I took those listings off my Etsy and website for now because I was just overwhelmed. But let me know, do you want me to relist my punch needle design tote bags? They don't sell like crazy well. So that's another reason I took them down, but I sell them at markets. Also, I forgot to share this. Sean made another jean bag. We're gonna start selling jean bags at pop-ups. And that's another thing. Let me know if you'd be interested in us listing some jean bags on my website. They're probably gonna be one of a kind. Yeah, they will be one of a kind. So you're not gonna be able to buy the same one over and over, we'll list them separately. But this is the newest jean bag he made and they're just so fun because the jean pockets are like obviously real pockets for the bag. And then the inside is the same like brown color. So, so exciting, let me show you. So this is the biggest one he's made so far and then we have a small jean bag. Oh, I might've hung it up. I think I hung it up outside, but he made a smaller one as well with like blue straps and that one's mine and I use it all the time. It's like a nice little tote to have. But yeah, I've been talking long enough. I wanted to quickly do that overview because it's been a while. And if you are new, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you subscribe and stick around. And yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do right now. Well, first I'm gonna check, let's see if the Wi-Fi is working. And then if it's not, I'm gonna prepare a punch needle sheet to do some punch needle um, because it's been a while. And honestly, I've not really been in the mood, but I'm kind of in the mood right now. The Wi-Fi is working. Let's make sure this is not a fluke. 
Okay, pretty sure it's working. This is exciting. I'm gonna pack up the candle and then I will finish up the kits and then we'll do punch needle later. What if I told you I couldn't stay? Take me or leave me. You can still walk away. What if I told you? This love won't be easy Will you still be here? Is this real? Will you still be here? If I say how I feel I don't wanna wake up one day And see you gone Will you still be here? Will you still be here? next morning well actually it's not morning it's 1 45 right now and i haven't filmed yet today because i've literally just been punch needling all morning so this is what i have done i know it's not a ton but i feel pretty good about it so we have six completed coasters and then i've started on some other ones and i just had lunch and i'm trying to figure out what i want to do for the rest of today if i sit on the couch and punch needle all day it does something to my mental health and I don't want to go there mentally just like I don't know I kind of get like I feel icky about myself that I've just been sitting all day so what I think I'm gonna do is pack up a couple of orders I think I have two orders that I can pack up and I'll drop those off later and then I think I'm gonna go live on TikTok see if we can sell some keychains like I said in my last video I'm kind of like hesitant because the new designs haven't come in yet and I know people are waiting so I'm like afraid to keep going live when these keychains are taking forever to get in. But I think I'll go live anyways and then um, I might take Duncan on a walk or something because I want to get some movement in. It's not very warm out but it's not terribly cold. It's like I think it's in the 40s. Oh my god. Oh my god. It says 54. I just checked and it said 40 degrees and now it's 54. This is what I'm gonna do. It's 145. There's a 40% chance of rain at two. Mm. I'm either gonna, whatever. We'll figure out when I go on a walk, but let's start by packing orders. So let's just stick to the plan, pack orders, go live, and then go on a walk with Duncan.
Don't come in with long ears. Unfortunately, I only have it with the pinned ears. Aussie, we have a Bloomerl Aussie. Dachshund. Here are the pit bulls again. Again, we only have two gray pit bulls left at the moment, but they will be restocking. Here are the Basset Hounds. 1,300 keychains coming in each batch, and we're also restocking. So 2,600 keychains that I gotta unpack and put away. And then once these sell out, we're getting a new design of this. Again, link is in the bio to shop. Okay, it's a little while later. Donut is not the biggest fan of being held, but she's getting into stuff. Um, it's 3.15 right now, and I finished a live. I was live for like 45 minutes, and we did 20 orders, <laughs> which is crazy. It's been so good. I don't know why I keep being like afraid and hesitant to go live. I honestly should be going live every day. But yeah, so that was super successful. And then I took Duncan on a little walk and now we're back. And I think I'm gonna do some punch needle. And I think my mom's gonna pick me up later and I'm gonna go over and give my brother a haircut and we're gonna watch the Love is Blind like reunion and have dinner over there and Sean's bowling tonight so he's just gonna meet us there after. But that's the plan so I'm gonna do some punch needle and then I will see you tomorrow. Okay, it is 4.30. I'm giving this update from this little ledge in my apartment. And I've been punch needling up here because it's sunny and it's the closest I can get to being outside while being in my apartment. So I am almost done with the second cherry coaster and I've done the first one. I think that's all the progress I've made. Yeah, pretty sure. So I'm gonna finish up the cherry one and my mom is on her way to pick me up. So, um, that's probably all I'm gonna get done today. Maybe I'll bring it to work on there. Maybe I'll start editing this video there. We will see. But yeah, I wanted to give an update and I will see you tomorrow. I also teach tomorrow. So honestly, I'm probably just gonna punch needle tomorrow and pack orders. Maybe I'll pack orders tonight. Who knows? I will see you when I see you. Good morning. Today is Thursday and it's 11.17. <laughs> 11.17 right now, I'm laughing because I've been getting such late starts to my work days, but I don't know what's going on. It's been like so hard for me to wake up and like gain energy in the morning. I just feel like I could go back to bed and it's literally 11, like what's going on? Granted, I did get up at like nine, so I've only been up for a couple hours, but still like why am I so tired? And I don't think it was a time change. Like that hour, I don't think that's what threw me, but yeah, so I'm tired today. For unknown reasons. I mean, my sleep schedule is not perfect, but it's not like that crazy. But anyways, I'm drinking a matcha to hopefully help. So if you've noticed tired eyes in the past few vlogs or like clips or anything, it's because I'm just, I don't know, I'm tired. But today's plan, I teach dance tonight and I just finished planning my classes. So that's all set. And now I'm just gonna pack up some orders from the live yesterday on TikTok. We'll see what I can pack for stickers as well, because some people did buy stickers. And then I have a couple of Etsy orders I can pack up as well. And then we will see what I do after that. Someone just placed an order five minutes ago as well, but I don't know, it might be for a kit. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna pack up those orders and I'm gonna actually set those to ship tomorrow. So the date on the label will be for tomorrow because I don't think I'm gonna have time to go to the post office today. And then after I pack those orders up, I plan to go live on TikTok for a bit. So yeah, we'll see what the day brings. I also will probably work on punch needle at some point. Maybe I'll do that instead of going live. We will see. But let's have a good day, a productive day, and start by packing some orders. So I'm actually going to go live on TikTok while I pack up these orders. So I figured I would talk like a little bit about how I prep for a live packing orders versus just packing orders normally. So if I'm not going live and I'm packing orders, I print labels as I pack. But if I'm going live, I'll print them ahead of time and put the items like with the shipping labels because I don't print out packing slips. So maybe that's controversial, but I just, I don't know. I never have printed out packing slips. I've never had complaints or issues where I'm like, oh, I should be putting packing slips in their orders, which if you're unaware what a packing slip is, it says like what you've ordered. But my feeling is that you can see that online. It's all digital anyways, so I don't include them. I think some people probably include them so that when they're packing, they can make sure an order is correct but I just do that through my computer. Anyways, 
So what I'm going to do is I go through every order on <laughs> Shopify and see what I can pack. Once I hit an order I can pack, so for example, orders I can't pack would be frames, um, punch needle kits because they're not ready. But once I find orders I can pack, I usually just go and grab the keychains. But because I have so many orders and keychains to pack right now, I'm going to actually write them down so that I don't have to keep getting up to go get everything. So I'm going to write down all the stickers and keychains I need to grab and then I will grab everything and then I'll print the labels so that I make sure I have everything in stock before I print the labels. And I do the same thing on Etsy as well. Etsy, I think I'm just packing up a punch needle so that'll be easy. I just got off live and I finished packing all the orders that are gonna go out tomorrow. And I've been thinking so much about what I have to get done slash wanna get done prior to market season starting back up, which is in less than a month, I think at this point. Yeah, so I just, I feel like I wanna start focusing on that sooner rather than later. There's stuff we wanna do for the pop-up display. We wanna spray paint our like pegboards and paint them and make them cute. We'll see how much I can get done there. And then I just need to like make inventory. I need to make tote bags. I need to make more wooden engraved keychains. I need to make more punch needle stuff. I need to make more stickers. So that's kind of where I'm going to start focusing my energy. And right now I'm going to keep working on punch needle. So I'm going to continue working on the punch needle coasters that I started. Ever since I was born, been a spring flower starter. Hibernate till it's warm And the snow melts to water But here comes a change, I can feel it Inside I see sun in the cloudless sky So I open my windows and breathe in The breeze of March dancing on my skin Suddenly I have a reason To come alive with the sea Okay, it's 3.15 right now and I'm taking a break from punch needling to hopefully make some wood keychains. So I divided them all up by like the design and I'm gonna go and make some more of each one. But I'm probably not gonna have time to do everything I want to right now because it's, like I said, 3.15 and I leave in an hour for work. But yeah, we'll see what I can get done. Hopefully I can remember what setting I had them on when I made these, but I found the designs. I saved all the designs. So I'm just going to pull them up and I'll probably start with, I might start with this one, the Anxious Drivers Club one. Um, 
But yeah, that's the plan. Also, it's so nice out today. It's like 60 degrees. I just took Duncan on a walk and I honestly didn't want to come back inside, but we must continue to work. So let's get going on these. Funny right now I need to leave in 10 minutes for work so I'm about to go get ready but I just completed my goal for these keychains which was to make at least six of each so I have at least six of each design here which I'm super satisfied with and I might make more before the first market but I kind of want to just see how they sell so I think this is good for now so that's great that's one less thing that I have to do to prep for markets but I'm gonna go get ready for work and I will see you later Good morning, today is Friday, it is 11.42. This is embarrassing, this is getting worse and worse. Okay, we're starting the day off late again, but that's okay, I just, I took a slow morning and we're gonna still have a productive day. The weather is so gloomy out too, so it's just not helping me like get going. But right now I'm threading elastic, or I'm gonna start threading elastic through this punch needle frame cover that is going out today, and it's going out with a frame. And then we have, I think, a couple other orders I can probably get out today. I haven't even looked yet, but that's where we're going to start. If there's any orders I can pack, I'll start there. Also on today's agenda, I think I want to make more tote bags for uh, markets. And then I also want to work on punch needle today. I also might make stickers today because that's something else that has to be done for market prepping. Um, and I just want to get ahead of market prep as best as I can. So maybe stickers before punch needle. I'm not entirely sure but I will update you as the day goes on. And yeah, let's have a productive day. Some say I'm too compassionate That I should have a sacred skin Some tell me to be more distant How would it feel just to feel but to hurt doesn't mean you're weak To cry doesn't make you a freak As long as I'm able to feel I won't lose the human in me We just cannot let the light in We just cannot let the dark win The world was built for all of us Don't turn your back to your brothers 
So I just made seven tote bags, so now I'm gonna make seven pricing labels and attach one to each of the totes. Okay, so this is what I have for tote bags for the markets. And if you like any of these designs, most of them are available on either my website or my Etsy. Um, I think the half human, half coffee, and maybe the green one, and the tufted peach isn't available, but I believe, oh wait, okay, I know for a fact that these three are available. So fueled by iced coffee and anxiety, show up as the best version of yourself, and I'm pretty cool, but I cry a lot. Um, maybe I'll bring the tufted ones back eventually, but honestly, they're a lot of work, and if it, like, messes up, it's a lot of hours down the drain if the fabric gets messed up, so we will see. I at least might add my, um, my face outline one, and I need to make more of those for markets as well. That's like a black outline of a face. It's, it's really pretty, so... I'll probably make those soon, but right now I'm going to work on some stickers because I can restock some of these designs and I'm not going to restock all of the ones I need to right now, but I'll be pretty good after I make these stickers. And then I also have an order of four stickers for English Cream Golden Retriever that I'd like to get out today. So let's make some stickers. We try to keep them out of here when we're working as best as we can, but then they try to break in. Especially her. <laughs> he just hopes that she can do it and then he'll follow. Okay, it is 2.30 right now and the day is flying by, but that's okay because I feel pretty good about what we've accomplished. So I have a hair on my lip. <laughs> we've done the tote bags, I did stickers, I packed some orders, and now I'm deciding what I wanna do next. So I definitely wanna work on these coasters today and maybe even get them finished as far as the punch needling goes. We have one, two, three, four and a half-ish to do. And so it's definitely doable. I'm hoping 
to do that but I also want to run to Trader Joe's because my friend is coming in to town from New York this weekend she's coming tonight so I want to get some snacks for this weekend and then uh, we also need to go to the post office later to drop these off around like 4 or 4 30 so I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and then come back and punch needle so I will see you when I punch needle it's now 4 30 and I went to the grocery store I also went to my parents to pick up like a veggie platter thing to make a fruit platter with and now I'm back home it's 4 30 and I don't think I'm gonna punch needle until later or maybe tomorrow because I want to cut up the fruit and kind of prep some snacks for tonight for when my friend arrives but oh yeah I already showed you this we have not too much left I'll probably work on this after the fruit platter's made but also at my parents I had a very exciting package waiting for me my wedding veil came in and I want to show you it in person I showed you like a photo of it in the last vlog but this is what the detailing on the edge looks like and I just think it's so pretty and I'm gonna try it on and show you what it looks like. Let me fix the lighting here. I don't know yet what my hair is gonna be. That'll be fun to figure out and work with someone. Yay! So pretty. I mean, obviously you can't tell much, like I don't have a wedding dress on, but I'm very excited, obviously. And I'm hoping the color matches. It feels literally the same, if not better, as the one I tried on at the bridal boutique and if you didn't watch my last video i was saying that the one at the bridal boutique was almost 300 dollars, and this is 40 dollars off of etsy and the package said handmade so that's even cooler if it's handmade it also has some weight to it because of the beading so i think that'll be good because the wedding is most likely going to be outside and so if it's windy or whatnot it won't fly off my hair but I'm very excited and I wanted to share that. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I am just doing punch needle and since my friend is coming, I'm not gonna be vlogging. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next video. I guess market prep has officially started, but stay tuned for market prep videos. And yeah, thank you again for watching. Even if I lost